Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to crush your health and fitness goals in 2018. So I have my notes down here on my phone and I also have my lovely uh, companion. This is Rexy. He's having a little nap on me. He's very tired because he too had a bath today. So he's a little wore out. So big thing that I really want to cover and for you to understand is that um, you can accomplish your goals, especially your health and fitness goals. A lot of people just go in a very extreme route when they try to accomplish these things versus trying to make small and simple changes over the long term. So I'm going to kind of cover things that have really helped me achieve my health and fitness goals over my lifetime. I know I'm very young, but there's still so many things that you can learn at this point in your life, no matter where you're at, whether you're younger or older, whatever the case may be, that you can learn from these steps. So step number one is to reflect over the last year, over the last several years. So since it's New Year's, I think it's important to definitely reflect over the past year. So what worked for you and what didn't work for you? What made you feel good? What didn't make you feel good? What's something that you could have done differently? How could you um, address a situation in a specific uh, way? So for me, um, this past year I was working on earning my master's degree. So I was spending a lot of time and energy achieving that goal. And so now I need to direct more of my energy back into my health and wellness and into my chosen career path. So that's my biggest thing that I'm going to be working on. So for you, what worked for you and what could you do better in this next year? So think about that and really take some time to think about it. And whether you go for a walk or you're in the shower or the case may be, really think about that. So the next step is to start thinking about what your goals are going to be. I want you to be specific and realistic, but also consider the long term. How can you be specific about what you want to do? Be realistic and be open to change and moderation when time calls for it. And also, how can it be long term? So for me, I really try to focus on living a life that really makes me feel good and allows me to do the things that I love. So I want to be able to take care of my dogs. I want to be able to go for a walk or hike or climb or travel or whatever the case may be. I also want to eat foods that make me feel good on the inside because when I don't eat foods that make me feel good, I really notice it in how I act and how I behave and the energy level that I have. So it's important to me that I do that that way. And that also allows me to steer toward a long-term focus because I want to be able to live that kind of lifestyle for a very long time. So if I take steps to achieve that and start working to achieve that now, I'm going to be able to do that long-term and that'll help me sustain and achieve those other little goals that I want to have over time. So like this next year, I want to start to condition down a little bit more again. Now that I'm done with school, I have a little bit more time and energy to focus on that. So that's one of my big goals is to have a little bit more conditioned body again. I have a really healthy body. I'm able to do so many things, but now I want to be a little bit more conditioned and I want to be a little bit more comfortable in my skin. So that's my big focus this next year. So think about that in your terms and what that is for you and write that down and put it somewhere that you can see it every day. So the next tip I have for you is what are you doing about your mindset? Your mindset has some of the greatest impact on whether you're going to be able to achieve your health and fitness goals in 2018. If you're doing nothing to change your beliefs or improve your beliefs or build confidence in yourself, it's you're going to struggle in being able to achieve your goals in this next year. So something that I always told myself growing up is that I, I'm always a fluffy kid. I always, um, I'm strong, but I'm not really good at endurance. And those were beliefs I had about myself when in reality, if I set my mind to it, I was able to achieve that. So a couple of years ago, I competed in a figure competition, um, not figure, bikini competition um, at Battle on the Bay. And that really shattered that belief again that I'm not really a fluffy person. I'm just conditioned a little bit differently and I'm built differently, but I have the ability to achieve that goal. Now, as for the endurance, I was able to start running for several miles at a time once I started to put time and effort into it. 
So you really have to think about what are the things that you're telling yourself? What are you doing to build up your mindset and become the person that you want to become? So you need to read, you need to listen to podcasts, you need to journal. I mean, there's so many things you can do to work on your mindset, but you have to be doing something for yourself in order to put yourself in that mindset that you want in order to become that person that you want to become. Because currently the beliefs that you have and what you're telling yourself is not allowing you to be in that state or you'd already be there. Okay, as for the next tip that I have for you for achieving your fitness goals in 2018 is to set a time, set a date, and set a deadline for when you wanna achieve it. A lot of time we set these arbitrary goals, but we never give ourselves that permission slip to make it happen, nor do we give ourselves the deadline to make it happen. So we say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to try things that sort of, we're doing nothing that says that we are committed or we're willing to give ourselves the chance to be committed. You need to say, I am, I'm going to by this date, I am going to meet you at this time. So you have to give yourself a date, a time and a deadline to achieve it. So for me to work on being conditioned, I want to be conditioned which in my sense means that I've lost about two inches on my waist and two inches on my hips or so, and I'm able to do about 30 minutes of cardio, medium to high intensity without getting winded. That is measurable and attainable goals for me to do, and I can track my progress. And that, I want to achieve that by May of this year. So I gave myself a date, a time, by the way, let's do Memorial Day if we really want to be specific. So let's find Memorial Day of this year, 2018. I want to be able to have those goals. So what can you do to give yourself a date and a time and a deadline to make it happen? So that way you actually have to take action in order to meet that deadline that you have. Okay, so the next thing I have is you need to educate yourself. You cannot rely on everyone around you to educate what you need. So you're going to have to look for good information or have good sources of information around you. So be willing to go and read different articles from, you know, first sources or primary sources. That's the word I'm looking for here in journal articles. You can go to your public library and have access to journal articles or positions of authority. So don't be afraid to go look for good information. Don't take it by people's word on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Go and do your own research from authoritative sources out there. So do your research and don't be afraid to become an authority. And I always said to my students when I taught is that you don't have to know everything in your textbook. You just have to be dangerous enough to pick it up and get a general sense of what's going on so that way you know what questions to ask next. You don't have to know everything. You just have to know enough to get by and know what questions to ask. Okay. Now for the last thing to help you crush your 2018 health and fitness goals, you need to find a sense of community and accountability for yourself. I have found for myself and my clients, when you have people that you can talk to and ask questions or that are relying on you to accomplish your goals, you're more likely to achieve them. It also gives you that sense of accountability that you need to say, hey, did you go do this? Hey, did you go get your workout in? You know, that way you actually have somebody that's gonna check in on you and see what if you're actually going to achieve it. So whether that be through a set of friends or family members. So whether that be through a set of friends or family members or an online community, or you hire a coach or you join a challenge or whatever the case may be, you find a sense of community and accountability so that way you have support as you go through this process and transition and this journey to help you achieve this goal and you have that emotional, physical, and mental support that you need to, to accomplish it. Because we really underestimate how valuable accountability is in our ability to achieve something. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you next time. I have several videos planned for January this year. I am so excited. My goal is to be uploading um, three times a week in the new year. So I'm super, super excited. I want to my goal for my goal. Lord have mercy. My plan, which is already in a process, is that Mondays are going to be Mindset Mondays. Wednesdays are going to be informational, whether it be about a movement or anything in that case. And then Fridays are going to be a workout or a vlog for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Psst. Psst. Hey you. Yes, you. Are you looking for accountability? 
I have a free 14 day challenge that's starting on January 15th. No cost, nothing. You can get some information, get started on your new year's resolution, get support and get community. And you can get it starting on January 15th and it's for free, no cost to you. If you wanna join the challenge, it's linked in my bio. Go jump and grab your spot today so that way you can get started on your new year's goals. So I'll see you next time, bye.